Yo, here we have Jelly Roll, another artist that I have never even heard of, but he got a feature with Tech 9 so he must be doing something right. We about to find out. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now, like I said, I had never even heard of Jelly Roll before. I don't know what type of music this is gonna be. I wanna assume it's gonna be rap just because of Tech 9 is on here and then Chris Calico. Never heard of him either, but you know, Tech 9 could either do like, it, it could either be rap, aggressive rap, or it could honestly be rock and Tech 9 just hops in and he and his voice and the way he his, his rhyming style works very well with rock i honestly don't know but this request right here comes from a patreon request and this one was requested by josh guthrie or josh guthrie or guthrie one of those you know josh i appreciate your membership my guy it means everything to me it allows me to make these videos for y'all and it keeps me in front of this microphone if anybody else wants to support the channel support the channel monetarily by clicking the first link in the description below it's the patreon and patreon is really the only way that i make money on this channel and it's the only way that i'm able to do this full time for y'all guys because y'all support me and support the bills that that help this channel run so if you're in that monetary capable position and you think that you get enough content out of the channel and enjoyment consider doing that for for me even if it's a couple dollars a month but if you're not in that monetary capable position all good baby everybody plays their role around here and i just hope that you will interact and like the video and enjoy so that way we can keep building this community but follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earnest just like the channel the links are down in the description below and we got jelly roll creature featuring tech nine and chris calico i want to say that's how it's pronounced yo 21 million views in less than a year let's get it There's a monster under my bed and at my window there's a dragon. I accept it. Yo, I'm fucking with the beat and I fuck with this dude's voice. Like it like his his the way the tone of his voice. There's a monster under my bed and at my window there's a dragon. I accepted the challenge and turned me into a savage. Ooh. I broke a promise to myself again. Mm. I don't know why I am so vulnerable. Yo, and then he's singing on top of this, and it sounds clean with like the vo with the vocal stacking and layered. I broke a promise to myself again. It's clean. I don't know how deep I'm gonna have to try to break these lyrics down, but this right here, it's all pretty straightforward so far. Either these different emotions or these different memories that haunt him, or just like the life that he grew up in not being easy and it turned him into a savage. Like it's all straightforward, but it's sounds good. Sounds real good. I don't know why I'm so vulnerable. They try to help, but I won't let them in. It's rock bottoms where I'm comfortable. Both my mm. planet when most they wanna help, but I don't let them in. I guess rock bottoms where I'm most comfortable. Yo, that's a bar. I guess rock bottoms where I'm comfortable. Both my feet planted when most people would have panicked. I embraced the storm. I found beauty in what was damaged. Nah. I embraced the storm. I found beauty in what was damaged. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I embraced the storm. I found beauty in what was damaged. I'm not afraid of the boogie man. Instead, I look at him like he's a friend. Mm. There's not a monster out there in the world. The scarier than the one that's within. There's a crew. There's not a monster out there in the world and that's scarier than the one that's within. Yo, this is this is clean so far. Mm. There's nothing out there in the world that could potentially hurt me as much as I hurt myself. You better get rid of that nine. It ain't gonna help. What good's it gonna do against a man that strangles himself? The scarier than the one that's within. There's a creature in my closet. I can hear him round around. The demon screaming in the distance creates such a humbling sound. The monster that's Yo, the demon screaming in the distance creates such a humbling sound. And his voice is his singing voice. I don't know where he's from. It sounds like he's from the South. It's such a humbling sound. The monster that's outside my window. He's like family to me now. Ooh. The things that people are afraid of never let me down. Not to say this, no. The 
things that people are afraid of never let me down. You're only afraid of them because you don't live with them every single day. So you fear the fact that it's going to be, you fear that it might disrupt your everyday life. Super clean. You know, never let me down. Not afraid of snow, but I'm that was a nice transition too. The way they let the way that the camera panned in front of him and then it panned in front of the guy walking with the mask on and they just like cut out both so that way it transitioned into tech. That was dope. Never right here. Never let me down. Not a say this no, but I'm hated so. My religious freaks say I'm the biggest beast and that I made it grow. When I spray this flow, I created mo. Creatures are like when I heat up the mic, I'm a breed of the night, but I'm tainted it though. By the darkness I'm binded, I sparked it and shined it, they find it cause mine is whoa. This track and the speed of this track and the subject matter just fit, they fit Tech 9 style and, and lyrical style and delivery style. Injure, injure me fatally and see them grieve. They want to mislabel me a demon seed. Want to disable Nina, see them bleed. Hinder me fatally and see them grieve. No. You would not believe the creature inside me. If you deceive, Khalifa's alive. We disagree when people defy me. Or try to take his. Whatever the fucker retort them, you don't want to wake this. You forsake his with a sacred, then it's over. No matter what your faith is, I'm a creature. There's a creature. Yo, Tech, that's... I mean, you, you really can't go wrong with the Tech 9 verse. I mean, there wasn't anything in his wordplay right there. There wasn't anything too crazy because this song is a very subject matter heavy song. So you're not going to get a whole lot of wordplay. But his voice mixed with this dude's voice and just like... An, and it's... Well, how many bars was that? Maybe 16? Maybe 12? I don't... I, don't I, I didn't count. But yo, it sounds like it's worthy of 21 million views. But no matter what your faith is, I'm a creature. There's a creature in my closet. I can hear him run. The demon screaming in the distance creates such a humbling sound. The monster that's outside my window, he's like family to me now. The things that people are afraid of never let me down. Yo, I don't know what's happening in this vi music video. I haven't talked about it yet, but I honestly don't know what's going on. Like, I don't get the symbolism. Are these supposed to be like the demons that he's talking about? Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if he's walking around alone in life and everybody else is just like a, it's just a mask because they all look, they're all the same and they don't understand his troubles and the pain that he's gone through. There's so many different ways you can take it. I'm honestly not sure. But I'm like getting a mix of like Post Maloney, but not, but like the heavier Post Malone, not necessarily like the the Post Malone of Hollywood's, um, a Hollywood what's bleeding but more like more like the post malone of stony but also not as high in the register like post malone is a, has a better vocals at the higher register this is all pretty this is all pretty on the low end but it also sounds very like like yellow wolf at the same time like a hybrid of them but they're but his own sound you know never let me down yeah i managed to get myself in trouble all of this pain yeah i'm down in the double dose of liquor's always to blame if I could keep myself sober, I keep my hands to myself. If I take a shot and it's over, that's how I end up in hell. Keep my hands to, my, to myself. I take a, a shot and I'm no longer sober, and that's how I end up in hell. It's clean. If I take a shot and it's over, that's how I end up in hell. I hope I don't. Oh, he says shot and it's over. I thought he said shot and sober. If I take a shot and it's over, that's how I end up in hell. I hope I don't pass it down to my offspring. Everything from the daddy feel like I'm addicted to all things. Mm. There's no reason to change. Going too far now. And I'm stuck in my ways. Back at the bar now. Yo, that's clean. Like just the fear of not wanting to pass on your like addictive your addictive nature to your offspring. And to be honest, there's it's a it's a legitimate fear because because the uh the tendency and just the general like behavioralistic trait is like maybe not tendency, but just how easy it is for you to become an addict or how easy it is for you to get addicted to that point, it is definitely something that is genetically based. If I have some type of if I have some type of addictive nature within me, I'm addicted to gambling, addicted to drugs or whatever, your offspring is more than likely going to also have some type of similar it's going to be easier for them to be addicted to something versus someone who came from parents that don't have that addi that that addictive trait within their genetic makeup that doesn't necessarily mean that your offspring won't be able to have like the wherewithal or the power to not become addicted it just means that if they don't have that wherewithal there's a higher chance that they will become addicted if they start doing that kind of thing they said I'm a third and they right I ain't perfect guy 
So when I'm thirsty, I'm perking and purposely searching for something that's hurting me. So I just can't pack up and go. I just back out of it slow. That's how it go. I got the back out the hole. What next? Like I like I don't know. That flow right there, that little rhyme scheme, that purposely perfect, like that rhyme scheme and the alliteration right there, that was clean. And it, and it matches so well with the with the, with the speed of Tech Nine's verse and then his and his showing out. This is nice. This is super nice. I think you be laughing at me, hands be grabbing at me. Feel like God let it happen to me, that be blasphemy. And these be a tab and dash for the okay, yeah. I think I'll let, let it go. Either that or I gotta let it know. And I can't do that. There's a creature yeah. in my cl clean. I can hear him rumbling around. The demon screaming in the distance creates such a humbling sound. The monster that's outside my window. See, still, like, I don't get the symbolism behind the mask, and why are there people that aren't wearing it and people that are wearing it? I'm not sure there, but video-wise, song-wise, song was dope, you know? Like, it sounds good. Tech 9 came through, didn't try to, like, over, try, didn't try to outshine, because Tech 9, like, his music, his he, he is kind of like that type of artist that when you feature him on the track, like, he is going to come hard, and he might outshine the art, the actual artist that made the song. But right here, everybody blended together so well. Him and Kree is, like, all three of them, they shined at the same exact level. The song just sounds so balanced and it sounds so clean. It's, it's, it's fire. I, I fuck with it. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing, lawn form breakdowns, thoughts, feedback, all of that. That's how we get down around here. So if this is your vibe, hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. It helps the channel immensely, helps the community grow. Josh, once again, I appreciate your Patreon membership and your subscription to the channel and you getting a request in. The, the the song is fire. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Like I said at the beginning, anybody that wants to potentially help the channel, if you're in a monetary position to do so and you get enough content out of the channel, click on the first link down in the description. That, that's the first link to Patreon always. Follow your boy on Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. All three are also linked in the description. You want to talk to me, Discord is by far the best place to do it. So check out the links down in the description for everything. But that's really all that I got to say today, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate everybody's time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.